We told you earlier about the president's physical and the many questions the White House doctor answered about it today. One of the headlines was that the doctor gave the president a cognitive test, which he says he passed without a problem. In our final minute tonight, what that test looks like. <laughs> the test Dr. Ronnie Jackson gave the president is called the Montreal Cognitive Assessment. The reason that we did the cognitive assessment is plain and simple because the president asked me to do it. Before we go further, remember these five words. Face, velvet, church, daisy, red. I'll ask you to repeat them in a moment because they're part of the assessment. You also have to draw a cube, draw a clock that shows 10 past 11, and clearly repeat sentences like, I only know John is the one to help today. This seemed to be the easiest part here, identifying these three animals. Now, the test is supposed to detect mild cognitive dysfunction. 26 points on the test is normal, and 30 is perfect. Dr. Jackson, who, by the way, also served the White House under Presidents Bush and Obama, said there were zero issues detected. It screens for any type of cognitive issues, Alzheimer's and all those other things. So, you know, the, the fact that the president got, you know, 30 out of 30 on that exam, I think that, you know, there's no indication whatsoever that he has any cognitive issues. All right, those five words I asked you to remember. Normally, you're supposed to wait five minutes before I ask you to repeat them. And since it's in the teleprompter, you are all cheating. <laughs> I'm not cheating. But at home, yell them out. <laughs> Face, we'll velvet, church, daisy, red. <laughs> I felt like that was the hardest part of the Just test. Just to remember the words. Yeah, five right. minutes later. It's a good test to give yourself on a regular basis. We're done. Cold beer's up next. See you tomorrow.